Quan obviously been the Lion for two years. How have these two years been? Um, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. Um, outside of basketball, it is a, a big transition coming from the University of Wyoming. Um, small town, middle of nowhere pretty much, um, to the big city. Um, but I'm, I've been loving every moment of it. Um, love the school, love the people around, and uh, just just a great environment to be around. <coughs> and you grew up in Colorado, you went to school in Wyoming, and then you ended up in Los Angeles. How big of a change is that? Uh, very big change. Uh, so Denver's Denver's a, a kind of a city. It's it's a, a pretty big city, I would say. Um, it's getting bigger. Um, so going from the city to the country to even a bigger city than where I started from. Um, it was a it was a big transition. It took a little time getting used to um, the traffic and everything out here. But uh, once you get accolated and you get uh, used to everything, it's it's great. And can you kind of remember back when you were first looking to transfer, how you got connected to LMU and who reached out and how that whole process went? Um, yeah. So. After the season, well, my freshman year, we're going to go back. My freshman year, Coach Allen Edwards was the head coach at Wyoming. Um, he ended up parting ways with, with Wyoming, and he ended up here under Coach Stan. Um, I played another year at Wyoming um, under the new head coach. And after the season, I was looking for something new. And Coach Allen Edwards, is, he reached out to me immediately. Um, he was one of the first coaches to reach out to me um, as soon as my name hit the portal. Um, got me in contact with Coach Stan and and talked to Coach Stan and the rest of the coaching staff on a Zoom meeting. I had a virtual visit, uh, took me around campus and everything, and I loved the vision that they had and the campus and the environment. Um, and yeah, I fell in love from, from the beginning. And once you actually made it to campus, same idea, you, you loved it? I loved it, loved it. As soon as I got here, um, it was it was a little smaller than I thought it would be, um, but I, I, I like it. Uh, coming from a bigger school, having to travel a couple miles to get to class, drive your car to get to class, where here everything's just walking distance. I don't have to worry about trying to find parking or, or whatever it is. And my favorite part is probably probably the bluff, though. There's nothing, that, nothing out there that can beat the bluff. And when you first got to LMU, how were your teammates and how did you kind of build that bond with, with your teammates? Um, so I'm a very quiet guy, I'm very to myself. Um, Eli, Eli Scott last year, he, would, he reached out to me um, when I committed. So before I even uh, stepped foot on campus, he reached out to me. Um, we had a couple conversations, um, some about basketball, some about just random stuff. Um, so from there, I felt like I had someone even before I got on campus. Um, and then once I got here, everyone welcomed me with, with open arms, um, invited me to, to different things, to doing a three stuff, to stuff off campus, uh, going to get food. Um, I just felt like, like it was a family here, and they, they welcomed me with open arms with, into the family. And obviously, there's been some, obviously, really remarkable performances and wins and games over the last two years from, you know, winning the tournament in Jamaica this year, upsetting a couple top 15 teams. What are some that will stick with you forever? Um, probably this, this recent one um, against St. Mary's, the, the win against St. Mary's and the storm the court. Um, I've never been a part of that. Um, I've never been in an at-home environment with that many people, um, that big of a crowd. So I think that that would probably probably stick with me the most. And sticking with that game, how have you, you've obviously seen the crowd grow this year. How special is it to play in front of a full gym and have Gerson Pavilion rocking with students and fans and ticket holders who come out and support the Lions? Um, it means a lot, it means a lot. Um, it helps us um, energy wise. Um, helps us get going um, when the bench isn't where it should be. The the fans are there to, to uplift us. Um, I feel like their energy is is means a lot more than um, our own energy, if that makes sense. Um, 
it's just it's it's amazing to see and it's amazing to play in front of. And obviously, for any basketball player, it takes a lot of people to get you to where you are. Who who would you like to thank in, in getting you to graduation day to the end of your senior year? Uh, I would like to thank my parents. Um, if it wasn't for them, I, I wouldn't be in this position at all. Um, my dad is probably my biggest critic. Um, he's always pushed me to, to do better, to be better on and off the court. Um, he's pushed me to be, be the man I am today. And, and seeing my, my parents' relationship, it's, it's taught me how to treat people, how to treat a woman, how to, you know. Um, so I'd definitely like to, like to thank them. I'd also like to thank my little brother. Um, growing up, he's, he's two years younger than me, but he's always thought he was better at basketball than I was. Um, so that kind of pushed me to, to be better, to kind of show him that he's not better than me, and to also just, just set an example, set the table for him, and be that, that role model for him. Um, my AAU coaches as well for putting me on the big stage, um, for putting me in position to be able to showcase my skills um, and get to the level that a lot of kids dream of. Um, and yeah. And for those of people that don't know, what are you majoring in and, and what are you looking to, to do with that? Uh, so I'm a communications major. I am looking to go into sports broadcasting, um, kind of just sports analysts, um, stuff like that. Just kind of stay in the sports world, something that I know a lot about. Um, and yeah, I just like to, like to talk about go on TV and do something that I love. At the end of the day, I just want to uh, have a job that I love to go to every morning, that I look forward to, to doing. And I feel like uh, sports broadcasting would, would be that, that uh, job for me. Very cool. And then lastly, you know, obviously Saturday will be your final home game on the schedule in Gerson Pavilion. Uh, anything you're just feeling like you're going to remember from playing one more time in front of the home crowd? Um, just just the, the crowd rocking. Um, great environment. Um, I'm just going to remember uh, each and everyone who has touched my life, who has walked into my life and had an impact on on me as a human being. Cool. Thank you, Quan. Yes, sir.